Good morning, everybody. Now that I shoot these videos first thing in the morning, I get more and more excited to wake up. So today I was up at like quarter to five in the morning and just ready to share. And thankfully, I am at home now. <laughs> so I have lights, so I don't have to wait for the sun to come up. Um, which is nice. I can just shoot whenever I want. And today I kind of have a silly um, admission, omission, whatever. Uh, yesterday, I ended up, again, booking a flight to Guatemala <laughs> for today. And I felt like right when I, when I was going to book it, I, I felt like all the energy in my body just kind of sort of go into my feet, like I felt like, oh, like a sense of, it just felt off. And everything in my body was saying, no, this isn't the truth. And there was this one part, this one part that's like, uh, there's this one part excited and I'm trying to describe how, what this part feels like. It's like this part that has insatiable desire, um, that it's like a part that is like that wants to satisfy its desires through its projections you know what i mean it's like a part that's never happy with where it is in a sense and it's always looking for something like to f outside of itself like in the external to fulfill itself it's like that part, right? And it's like that part runs the show in 98.9 .9 or 99.9% .9 of human beings. That part has run the show in my body for so long. It's like that part that's like, uh, oh my God, that girl is attractive. We have to, we have to whatever, try to be with her or, or that destination is going to have X, Y, and Z for us. Um, we have to go there. It's like this part that chases, that that's always kind of moving in this through. It's kind of doing this, if, if you can kind of feel the energy of it. You know, and so many humans, they just want to um, find happiness through satisfying the projections in their mind, whether their mind's projecting happiness is in a partner or happiness is in a certain location or, you know... Um, there's all kinds of projections the minds, the, our minds will create uh, that tell us our happiness is in fulfilling this projection. And yeah, so it was so interesting in like real time to, to just discern truth compared to chasing and like what that feels like in the body. And I could feel as I was booking it, I was booking the ticket to Guatemala to uh, to kind of escape, to get away from what I was feeling right here. And then as I booked that ticket and I was feeling just dead inside, I was feeling just off. Everything was feeling just, I, I wasn't feeling my usual aliveness. And I always say, go do the most alive thing. You know, that's kind of where we burn the most karma. And it was so interesting that I guess I had a, a thought, an idea that going to Guatemala was going to be so alive for me and was going to have so much to offer my spiritual process. And that might be true one day. I don't know. But it was so interesting last night just to feel like, and yesterday as I was sitting with it, to feel how, oh my gosh, the most alive thing is actually to stay right where I'm at. You know, like there's so much spiritual alchemy to be done here. There's lots of grace. It's a very potent uh, energy vortex I'm in right now, as a lot of you probably know from past videos when I was here last time. And I think there's a big part of me that was wanting to escape everything that a place like this brings up. And it was like my little escape artist got a hold of the cell phone and the credit cards, you know, and it's like, oh, we're going to go here because it's, I think it, this, this part that wants to fulfill its, you know, happiness through external projections 
it's really just looking to uh, chase feelings, you know, and to avoid other feelings. And it was so amazing yesterday, just being so conscious with it, like feeling what it felt like to book a ticket from that place, feeling what it felt like to plan a trip from that place, where in the past it would have been the truth. Because until we let that, until we consciously let like our, are letting this part run our life and consciously experiencing out what that's like, we can't really see through it. Until we've fulfilled so many of our minds projections of what will make us happy we can't really see through those projections as deeply we actually have to experience some of this stuff out we have to experience out the the idea of oh I, if i have this spiritual girlfriend with awakened kundalini that's gonna make me happy that's gonna i will i will never feel bad again or something you know or until i go to this place or until i do this thing or until I have these objects, or until I have this amount of money. That was a big one. I had to have a lot of money in my checking account at one time for me to realize that, oh, money's not gonna make me happy. To see through the projection that money, more money equals more happiness, right? Um, yeah, I've had to have a number of relationships with women. Obviously, that's been a big one for me. For me to see through the projection that, oh, being in a spiritual, kundalini romance actually isn't going to make me happy. <laughs> it can be like a nice thing to experience. Uh, there can be lots of learning and growth there and definitely not against any of these things, of course. But to, to think that our ultimate happiness is going to be found there is a major illusion. And we can know that on the conceptual level. We can know that the only thing that will truly satiate us on the deepest of levels is knowing God, right? In our body, in every cell of our being. We can know that. But sometimes we have to really experience things out. We have to experience the karma out in our body for us to really be able to see through things on a deeper level to where they don't pull us into action. And so I just let myself do that over and over and over again. And now it's getting to the point to where I'm getting some chills saying this. In real time, yesterday, I was able just to see through the whole idea of going to Guatemala is going to, what, I think, I don't even know what the idea was there. It's going to satisfy, it was just basically like this part that doesn't like to feel certain feelings. It was just like, oh, that's, that place is going to satisfy me. And I might end up going to Guatemala one day, you know, but it's not going to be or I might travel, who knows, but it's not going to be from this place of lack, from this place of there's, you know, God is in that place, or I'm, that's where I'm going to awaken, or whatever the idea is, right? And yesterday, as I was doing that, and I was just sitting with it and feeling so empty and dead, I realized, oh my gosh, like I said earlier, the most true thing, the most alive thing is to stay here and to face what I'm feeling here. And it's like the deeper I awaken, the more I just knowing God becomes like the priority. And, you know, this place meets all my needs for that. I mean, there's so much, <laughs> there's so much grace here. There's so much potent transformative energy here. I actually have a home, which is nice. I can do videos in and have sessions in. People that are very familiar with the process I'm in, not necessarily because they're in it so deeply, but because somehow through grace, they've rented this place out to people going through, you know, I mean, they've just rented this place out to really devoted beings, people who like spend a lot of their time in meditation, etc. Spirit doing spiritual work. And so I just felt in my body like, oh, I'm not meant to leave here. I'm, this is actually home right now. This is actually where the deepest um, transformation, the deepest alchemy can happen. I don't have to go to Guatemala for, for all of that. It's actually right here. And, I've, and I just noticed how I was leaving here from a place of fear, from a place of reaction, from a place of flight. There's a lot of just flight energy. Just get me out of here. It's too much to feel. It's uh, too intense. It's like that part of me. 
that part of me that doesn't want to be alchemized, that <laughs> doesn't want to be dissolved. It was like, uh, maybe we could just get out of here and go to Guatemala. And it was so interesting, though, to just see through that as it was happening, to just be like, that's not the truth. And I didn't actually have to go to find that out. Where in the past, I would have to go. I'd have to go to the thing, get in the relationship, whatever. And at the time, that was the truth because I needed to have the experiences to know in my body what truth feels like. That's the refinement process. We make whatever you, you could call it. I don't think they're mistakes, but just for this video, we make mistakes or you veer out of alignment of truth so you can have a deeper sense of what truth is in your body. Otherwise, you wouldn't know. You have to kind of go, oh, is this truth? No, okay, that feels like that. Oh, interesting. Okay, is this truth? Oh, that. Oh, okay. And, and then you just start getting more and more like this, where it's just like very refined, very clear. And then it gets harder and much harder for you to, to swerve out of truth or to leave truth because you can just feel it in your body and your bones and your heart immediately. It just feels dead. It feels off. It feels like, oh, that's not it, you know? And so you could feel that in a relationship that you're thinking about getting into and you can just start to feel like, oh, I see what well, I was trying to get into this relationship from this place. This isn't actually guided from God. I was trying to get into it from a place of lack. Um, and like sometimes we do that. We have to go into those. We have to do things from a place of lack for a while to, to get that reflection and to get that. The, so the universe can mirror to us some things so we can actually see things more clearly. But yeah, that was so interesting. And, and I was just like, wow, okay, it's definitely true for me not to go through with this. And I was like, well, I guess the money I spent can just be like a lesson, right? Can just be like a, a teaching I paid for to the universe. But and then I went on to just to see uh, what my options were. And it's like, maybe I'll get a flight credit or something. And I and it was it was amazing because I booked with an airline that actually gives you a lot of flexibility in the first 24 hours that give you a full refund if you cancel within 24 hours. And I was like, <laughs> OK, thank you, universe. And my Airbnb host was amazing and I ended up just giving them a little bit of money for their time. And, and that felt good. Like I buy them like a really nice dinner or something. Um, and then there's one more place for a shuttle that wasn't too much money that they'll get back to me today. But whatever the point is, it actually didn't even cost me <laughs> like hardly any money to make this mistake, which was really nice. Um, and so, yeah, and it was, it was interesting. Right as I canceled, I felt all this life force come back in my body. I felt like the spiritual energy just like come back up, like kind of like it was like the the kundalini came right back up my spine again, like, oh, I'm abiding in truth again. Oh, thank God, you know, and it was kind of just kind of cool. I was a little stressful, of course, and like, like confusing and because it's like that part that it just wants to fulfill itself through external projections. Sometimes it's so convincing at times, right? It can feel so it can feel like the truth until you are able to discern. Oh, that's not the truth. I'm not moving with God. I'm moving from the separate self that's looking to satisfy itself through pleasure or through a feeling or through whatever that's just looking to avoid its own death, <laughs> essentially. It's like trying to have the wheel for a little bit longer. It's like, what can I do to just kind of keep control? Um, I don't even know, I don't know where I was going with that. Because there's a lot of alchemy up here. I get a little clouded. It's just like lots of fear energy moving through a lot of, uh, yeah, just a lot of intense, uh, stuff moving through. Oh yeah. In real time, it was just interesting to feel like my life force come back online to feel what it's like, or to feel that feeling of abiding in truth again, which is like, once you start to really know that feeling and to like, really just, mm, just like sink into it. It's like, you don't want to leave truth. No, for anything, for pleasure, for the best sex ever. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That's a hard one. <laughs> That one can, that one still can have a, I mean, it's the second strongest drive other than survival. And I guess that brings me to like how even Aristotle didn't leave truth for death because the truth, the, the 
sensation of truth or the knowing of truth, it overrides all the other instincts. Even the instinct for, I mean, sex, sex is a really big one, of course, but even survival. Like these men and women who are really connected to truth, it's like they'll die in the name of truth, right? And it's not even a question, chills. It's not even a thought because it's just like, no, truth above everything, even survival. And it's like Aristotle is like, yep, yeah, just drink the poison. Not going to apologize for living the truth. Nope. It's not the truth for me to apologize. So see you in the next one. And I mean, that's how the story goes, right? Jesus, you know, there's endless examples of, of beings who either gave their life or were willing to give their life up for truth. That's how strong the feeling gets. That's how it's like, that's how refined it gets to where it's not even, a, and I guarantee you, for those beings, it wasn't even a choice. It's just like, of course, I'm going to just give my life for the truth. There's no other option. It's not like leaving the truth at a certain point for great beings. I'm imagining just feeling it in my own process. It's not a, it's not an option anymore. It's not, a, it's not a choice. It's just like, no truth. And so it feels really good to be reunited with truth again. And just to have that experience was so valuable just to be like, in my body in real time, okay, what does this feel like? And just being conscious of it and now knowing and and knowing like if I want to leave truth in the future, I'm going to do it very consciously. Like I'm leaving truth right now because I really want to go experience this thing out, whatever that might be. And not making myself wrong or bad for that, but just to, just to, you know, experience out more karma in that way. That's always an option. So if you notice you're leaving, that's a big one. I've done this so many times where I'm noticing, oh, this isn't the highest truth, but I'm doing it anyways, because there's this part of me that just has the wheel and it just needs this experience and it's just going to happen. And so when we recognize that, and it can be something as little as a cigarette, even like we can recognize I'm trying to quit cigarettes and I've quit for four days, but I'm just going to go smoke a cigarette right now. And I, I know it's going to happen and I can't stop it. If we're in that moment, acceptance, love, consciousness okay what does this cigarette feel like can we can we let ourselves try to enjoy this cigarette one last time right or whatever the thing is and it's like this time with guatemala i didn't have to go but if say that part did pull me and i just had to go for that part of me that just wanted to chase its desires and its external pursuits there and and it just you know i could i would have really just i you know i would have brought acceptance and love to the whole thing and it would have been fine um, and, you know, we just use those times as, as learning experiences to become more conscious. And we're not sitting there like, oh, I shouldn't have done this questioning. It's just like, no, okay, well, I guess I did this. So now I might as well get the full, might as well scoop everything out there, there is to learn from this experience, right? So that's the other thing. If you're, if you're going to leave the highest truth and you know it and you can't, and you just can sense you can't stop it and it's just what's happening, Bring love and consciousness and acceptance to it and just really get everything out of it you need to. And for the, this time, like I said, I, I didn't have to go all the way to Guatemala. I, I was able to just really just see through it pretty fully as I was booking it, which was uh, awesome. Um, and like I said, I might end up going at some point, but it's going to be from a place of truth. It's going to be because God takes me there. It's not going to be because I'm running from something or because I'm in flight or fight or flight. You know what I mean? It's going to be rooted in truth at least for me to go there. <laughs> I might do other things in the meantime, right? <laughs> that are not my highest truth because I want to experience some karma out in this place or that place. Um, there's my belly. It's like, all right, <laughs> we're, we're awake. So early is it time to eat? <laughs> but uh, at least for today, it, it was, uh, it was, you know, it was a truth that won out when it comes to this. And yeah, I just wanted to share that whole story with you guys. And I just am having so much fun waking up and sharing my life and what I'm learning. And hopefully you're getting something out of these. And I just want to say I really appreciate your support when it comes to donations. Um, they help me pay for having a home to make these videos in so that I can <laughs> pop up at whatever time and have a light to, to make a video. And that's super fun to have a different background than, <laughs> than my car. Uh, so yeah, your donations are the primary um, means of my financial support right now. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank you guys truly from the bottom of, of my heart um, for sending your love this way. 
uh, um, <laughs> my stomach. <laughs> yeah, for sending your love this way in, in the in the way of financial support, it means a lot. And to everyone who's just watching, your presence is super valued here. And yeah, just sending you all so many blessings, so much love. And I will see you guys in the next video. Namaste.